Hello, lovely people. Welcome to the Geek Cupboard. I am Penge, and welcome to Patron, which is a medieval city builder. So expect things like chopping down trees and building farms and catching fish and building houses, all that sort of stuff that we are very, very familiar with when it comes to medieval city builders. But apparently Patron has intricate social dynamics, so the Steam Store page says, which can change what's going on in your city quite dramatically indeed. So at the start of the game, we're just getting settled in. So nobody is too bothered with all this kind of social stuff. Everyone's too busy gathering food and firewood and generally trying to stay alive, but when our little city is stabilised and resources are looking good and everyone's got jobs and what have you, the social elements will appear. So that sounds intriguing. I'm not exactly sure what sort of social things will pop up. I don't really know, but I'm looking forward to finding out. It sounds very interesting indeed. As with pretty much all the games we've played over the past week, this is the demo and it's part of Steam's Next Fest Games Festival, which concludes tomorrow on the 22nd of June. So if you do want to have a go at the demo of Patreon, you shall have to be very quick about it. There is a link to the Steam Store page in the video description below, so you can check out the game and wishlist it, and of course grab the demo if you want to. But anyway, let's get on with it, shall we? Let's go and build a medieval city and see what sort of social thingamajigs are going to show up. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is choose our town name and then choose our banner. So the default town name is Jamestown, which is okay. That's a nice standard town name. I mean, it works really well if you're called James. That's very good, but uh, I think we'll be changing that. I think we'll switch that round and then our banner at the moment the default option is this kind of you know very sort of regal looking sort of lion head type banner thing i mean we'll have a look through we'll have a look through the banners and just see if there's anything else interesting that catches our eye there we go that's much better things have been greatly improved so away goes jamestown and in comes the town of upper cupper i do like that i mean as well as it being a lot of fun to say because upper cupper is very enjoyable to say it also implies that somewhere in the world of patron there is a town called Lower Cupper, because there has to be Lower Cupper for Upper Cupper to exist, otherwise the town would just be called Cupper. There wouldn't be any Upper or Lower about it, so somewhere there must be a Lower Cupper. And I like the idea that in Lower Cupper, you can go and get a cup of tea. It's an okay cup of tea in Lower Cupper. You know, it's sufficient, it'll get you through, it's all right. But here in Upper Cupper, we have the best tea. We have the most upper class finest teas in Upper Cupper. So if you want the very best tea, you go to Upper Cupper. If you want just, you know, an adequate cup of tea, you go to Lower Cupper. I like that idea. You know, we've made up a little bit of a, a little bit of story and lore here in Patron. And then our banner, we've picked the only one that's sort of linked to nature and, you know, the growing of things. Uh, it's this one here, which I know is a tree, but for the purposes of this and for the purposes of Upper Cupper, we're going to pretend it's a tea plant because, you know, it's got leaves, they can be tea leaves it's got roots they can be in the ground so we'll pretend that this is a tea plant now i don't imagine that we can grow tea in the game by looking at the sort of the buildings and stuff it looks like we're in a european setting so we're not going to be able to grow tea in the fields and such like i do not imagine but we'll pretend that people are growing tea in the comfort of their own homes in little window boxes or whatever so that's what we'll go for we'll go for upper cupper and then our banner representing a tea plant there we go i like that that seems fine right okay let's continue and next up comes the map that we're going to play on and we have to pick the Mediterranean map because that's the only one available in the demo but there are plenty of different maps there's loads of them there's you know, Pine Ridge and Reef and Islands of Plenty and the Delta there are so many different ones all with different soil fertilities or richnesses and weather conditions so in that one there in Archipelago that's got tropical weather I mean that sounds quite lovely but yeah we are in the Mediterranean I mean that one there's got a volcano in it there's a dormant volcano in the middle, so that sounds fun. But there we go, Mediterranean. So a peaceful, almost Mediterranean-looking island with a lot of fertile soil, scarred with bays and coves. It's surely a place your people will be proud to call home. So soil fertility is high, all richness is high, and the weather is temperate. So yeah, that sounds lovely. We'll go for that. And then in terms of the actual sort of game options, we'll just pick all the default ones, please. Absolutely. All the standard things that will do for us. So here we go. And I can very happily confirm that Spacebar is pause. Well done, game. We're going to get on just fine, I think. So here we go. This is it. This is Upper Cupper right now. It is one building and a gaggle of people all wandering about down here who are very soon going to need homes. But there are families. There's family units. And if we look up here, we've got ourselves 10 adults six young people, three children, and they are five families. 
which I quite like. I like the idea that there's these sort of separate families. Oh, there's a bird. Even though we've paused the game, the birds defy the pausing of time. These birds are so very powerful. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to do all of the very classic kind of, you know, medieval city builder kind of stuff. We need homes, we need lumber mills, we need sawmills, we need hunters, we need people to go and pick berries, all that kind of stuff. So let's start with getting some houses because otherwise these people are not going to be very happy at all. So let's go down to here and grab us some homes. So we can build them tents. Now tents don't cost any money. You need some lumber and some leather. Now how much lumber have we got? We've got 50 lumber. Yes, we start with 400 monies. We start with 50 tools. We start with 50 stone. We've got 50 iron, no coal. We've got 47 firewood. At the moment it's April, so that's not going to be too much of a problem, but we might want to start thinking about getting a bit more of that when it starts getting a little bit colder later on in the year. We've got a bit of lumber, and then we seem to have an okay amount of food. 394 food seems like a good amount. I mean, I don't know. If one child eats 50 bits of food at a time, then yeah, that's not going to last too long, but it sounds pretty good. So let's get some houses in first, and then we'll just sort of get on with some stuff. So yes, tents, don't actually require money. Whereas a proper house, yeah, it's better. It's a proper actual house. It's got a roof and a chimney and such. And um, that does require 30 coins and eight lumber. I think, however, we should get houses in. Maybe we should get some houses in. I mean, let's build ourselves a little street going along here. And I think if we put the houses where the trees are, they will go and chop the trees down, which makes sense. In fact, you know what? Let's actually... Let's get them to chop those trees down anyway. There you go. Gather, I say gather trees. <laughs> go and gather some trees. Gather all the trees together. So yeah, we'll just sort of clear out maybe that area there of all the trees. So get loads and loads of wood because that's going to be yeah, early on our key building kind of requirement, isn't it? Lots of wood. So there we go. Right, people, go forth and gather lots of wood, please. And then we will get some houses put down as well because I don't think everybody is going to go and chop trees down. I think some people are just going to you know, sit about and wait for other orders. There you go. Housing shortage. So let's get our first house in. Right, hang on a second. Where's the front? That there looks like the front door to me. There we go. Yeah, so that's the side. So the front door is there. So the chimney is there. So if we rotate it around that way. Right, that's what I kind of wanted to see. So we want a road going kind of past here. We want a little gap there. So we will have ourselves that house... There. There goes a magic pause to fly, uh, defying bird again. Or a deflying bird, maybe. That sort of works. Right, so we'll build a house there. And then we'll have another house there. And then another house there. There we go. And then we can, of course, build roads. Who doesn't love a road? So we'll get ourselves a kind of dirt road. Can't build a dirt road there. Okay, hang on. Why not? Oh, there we go. Like that. So build a dirt road like that. That can go up the front of the houses, but also the dirt road can go through that little gap there as well. So that can go along there. And I think, I don't think they have any resources. No, the dirt roads just sort of magically appear. They just sort of appear. So, um, yeah, where's, hang on, where was it? There. So just sort of bring that up that way, I think. That'll do for now. Right, so three buildings under construction, hopefully. And we're chopping down an awful lot of trees to get lots of lumber. So there we go. Right, so we can move time on a little bit quicker. And it does have a proper, really, really quick time setting. I like that. You've got normal speed, you've got double speed, you've got five times speed, and you've got ten times speed, which is very, very good indeed. Right, so people are now bringing the lumber over to here, and you are building our very first house. Well done. Can we look at you? Can we click on you and see what you're like? Can we see if you've got any likes or dislikes? I don't believe so. Not right now, anyway. Never mind. Right, so... Move time on a bit quicker. Got one house. So now some people don't have the sort of house icon above their heads because, of course, they've moved in. There you go. I'm sorry we couldn't get you a you know, present, like a new house present. The new house present is a house. That'll do. Right, so now they're chopping down. They're very efficient at chopping down trees. My goodness me. We have ourselves a lot of lumber. Right, this is wonderful. Okay, so they're going to chop those down. If we could build the houses, though, that would also be good. That would be good. Right, and then let's get the other houses in. So let's get these in. Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on. They've not... That's not the same way. Hang on. Where's the door to the... Oh, the door to this house is just there. <laughs> Can they get in this house? Can people use this house? Yes. There are six residents in that house, apparently. Um. Okay, right. When we place a, a new house, it seems to reset where the door goes. Okay, that's fine. So I think that's the front there. Yeah. Okay. So then what we want to do is put it opposite that house. 
like that. So it's on the road. Okay, yeah, it resets the house. Okay, that's fine. A lesson has been learned there. Right, and one just there. And yeah, rotate it round again. And we will have one just there. Okay, wonderful. And then what we'll do is we will get ourselves a little road and the road can sort of cut across the top. Is there a way that we can put a grid on? Can we have a grid? Toggle grid. Ah, there we go. There we go. That makes things a little bit more obvious. Yeah, we're struggling to try and figure out where the roads and such are going to go. Ah, right. We've built it slightly one colour. In fact, no, do you know what? If we can build decorative things, we could put some nice plants or whatever there. Okay, that sounds good. Right, so we'll get ourselves that going there. That going to there. Okay, right. So that's housing done. And then, of course, we're going to need to get people to go and chop down trees and plant trees and then go and gather berries and mushrooms and all that kind of fun stuff. It looks like... What's that? Hang on. Come out of... Oh, hang on. Do we have to come out of grid mode? Toggle grid is G. Okay, now we've made everything all kind of looking like we're glowing. Okay, right. It's all green. That's nice. Hang on. There we go. It's gone. I think... I think they're just flowers. They're not mushrooms or anything. But let's go down to here. Production buildings. Let's get us a gatherer shelter. Gathers various wild fruit, mushrooms, and other produce. Well-forested areas are more abundant in these resources. Okay, message understood. So if we put our gatherer shelter... Um, again, where's the, where's the door? Where's the door to the gatherer shelter? I think it's on the left-hand side as we look at it now. So let's put that... We can run that between... And there's two roads going there. So if we run that, say, uh, I don't know, to there, like that, that should do the job. So hopefully someone can go up there and start you know, building that, and then we can have a gatherer. And then we might also want a hunting lodge to be not too far away. So what they're going to do, they are going to produce venison and leather, well-forested areas, and wild animal lairs boost efficiency. That would make sense. Um... Okay, I think, I don't know if we can get this the right way around. We'll, we'll just put it there. That's all fine. It will do the job. I imagine they can get to it. It's all good. Right, grid back on. Let's have, oh, the king sends his regards. Oh my goodness me. Hello, your majesty. Sire, the king has sent over a ship full of goods for our fair city. He is clearly pleased with us. Most excellent. Please notify the king that we accept the gift. The king has sent us 38 tools. Okay. Well, thank you. That's that's very lovely of you, Your Highness. That's very kind indeed. Oh, we've gone slightly wonkaloids with our, <laughs> with our road, I think. Um, but yeah, there we go. Yes, we've kind of gone a little bit wonky with the road. I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure it's okay. There we go. So length 27. Then bring that over like that. And then bring that up across like that. There we go. So at least we have ourselves a road now. Okay, we can build bridges. We haven't researched stone roads or stone bridges or large stone bridges. Road signs. Helps your citizens find their way quicker. They'll be 5% faster whilst near a road sign. Oh, that's wonderful. Okay, yeah, can we have a road sign just there? And then, oh, look, we can have road signs down here in these little gaps. Oh, that's exciting. Okay, right, and then we'll scroll through the grid thing. Okay, so we should be getting things built up here. Right, actually, pause time for a second. We have ourselves our gatherer shelter, and we've got the hunting lodge. So now we need to assign people to work here. So what you can do is you can either click on the building itself or you can go to the good old trusty jobs window. So we can see that currently we have ourselves gatherers, none out of two. So we are allowed two gatherers. So yes, please, we'll have two gatherers. Now there are eight available workers and we will have a hunter. You can go hunting. We have a carrier. Carriers are specialist workers dedicated to carrying resources around the town, to and from the warehouses and production buildings. Do you know what? It makes sense to have a dedicated kind of carrying person. Yeah, okay, we'll go for that. That sounds good. Right, so now we've got that in. So they're building the road signs and such. Somebody should come up here eventually. Someone will turn up there eventually. I think maybe building some more houses would not go amiss. We have 168 coins. That's pretty good. We're getting food from these two things here. We could, however, we could do a little bit of research. So let's go into research. There is a very, very extensive research tree. I mean, that is, that's huge. That's huge. And it goes from really basic stuff, like how to fish, how to build a hut, and, you know, a decorative hedge. Oh, we might have to go for that. Hang on. No, we'll get a fisherman's hut first. We'll prioritise, you know, staying alive. And then when we're sure that we don't die of starvation, we'll get ourselves some lovely decorative hedges. But um, it starts from, yeah, really basic stuff. 
like you know yeah how to fish and how to you know have a little tiny park and such all the way through to over here if we look here we've got advanced goods and royal halls and large ponds and mints we can go mint our own coins and such like so um so yeah it's certainly a very extensive uh, an extensive research tree i don't quite know where the demo lets you go up to i'm not entirely sure i don't imagine we'll get anywhere near down here but uh, yeah the resources that required are for a fisherman's hurt 20 lumber plenty of that and 25 coins yeah okay and it's going to take seven days that is absolutely fine we can fill our time across those seven days we'll get another couple of homes in i think what's that there a shelter a fine solution when your town gets crowded too fast ah okay right so a temporary sort of shelter type thing okay um let's have that house going hang on which which way is the front again <laughs> i need a marker i need a little marker thing to tell me where the front of the house is right one just there and we'll build another next door so um yeah we'll build one uh we can't build it on the path so there we go like th hang on no we need to rotate it round there's the door boom okay so another couple of houses i'm wondering if that you know extra housing encourages population growth or whatever i don't quite know how the population grows do people just hear about our wonderful town and move in or you know does it just happen naturally with writing letters to the stork and all that kind of stuff i'm not entirely sure i don't know um right so lumber looking good maybe we'll just cut down a few more trees here just to make sure that we're okay over here can remain nice and empty and then maybe over this side we could get a forester get a forester in and then get a lumber mill pretty close by i think that sounds like a good plan in fact why don't we oh hang on no we want those oh yeah we actually do want to keep the wood over that side don't we okay that's all fine what we'll do is we'll put the forester sort of over here and then they can chop down trees and then hopefully replant them let's see if that's an option so production buildings forester's hut plants and cuts down trees there we go that sounds brilliant efficiency depends on two factors how forested is the area and how fertile is the soil um okay hang on the grid what is this showing us that's the build grid the fertility grid ah okay right this puts us in a little bit of a problem i think maybe i think we put our forester over here i mean yeah they'll have to do some tree planting first but then I think we'll cut down this bit over here because it's away from those buildings that need trees to work at maximum efficiency. So I think, yeah, we'll we'll put our forester over here and then cut down these trees over here. I think that's the plan. And our research is done. This is very good news. And there we go. We can build a fisherman's hut. Um, Yeah, okay, over here. That will do. Oh, actually, can we get one in? Yes, we can. Okay, that'll do. So get a fisherman's hut in. Right, go back to the build grid. Um, and get us a lovely road coming over here because i do like a nice road that can go down to there that can come across there and then can we get ourselves a road sign i, d I like the idea of road signs I, c I don't think i've ever seen one of these games with road signs in before I, I like that i mean to be fair you don't really need a road sign to tell you where to go from just here the road only goes in one direction and you can see <laughs> you can very clearly see where you need to go over there but never mind i like that i like the fact that it's a thing right how about then let's go to here let's gather some trees let's gather some trees from here gather these sort of low down ones so get all of those trees there that will top up our lumber very nicely and then yes over here let us build ourselves oh hang on why can't we do that we haven't got enough coins okay now i think at the end of the month we get paid in coins because of course people pay taxes pay your taxes peasants so um yeah we'll put a forester hut over here that will do um yeah how do we want to oh how do we want to connect that up let's just put that there that'll do i don't think it matters where the front is um and then how about maybe in a gap over here we could go oh no we haven't we've got nowhere near enough coins now we've got nowhere near enough coins right hang on let's connect here right get the build grid thing back up um let's get that connected up ah yeah there's a lovely road coming through there good stuff right connect that up like that not entirely sure where the front of the building is Do you know what these are free the roads are free let's just put <laughs> a path all the way around you can run laps around it if you like if you're, you're worrying about your fitness and such so there we go 
What is that just there? I don't know what that is. Hang on. Bill Grid, away. Away with you. What on earth is that? I think... I think you can press... Can you press F8? Then you can sort of zoom in and look at things. Yeah, there we go. Pressed F8. You can kind of go into a sort of free roaming sort of camera mode. What on earth is that? I don't know what that is. Oh, it's like, is it a rabbit hole or something? Oh, and we're going to build on top of it. Okay, the hunter might have quite liked that. Never mind. Never mind. Oh, it's a fox den. It's a fox den. There's a fox. Another bird going by. Hello, bird. Um... Right, okay, well we can't do anything about that. We're gonna to have to just have that there as it is. And maybe, yeah, we could, he's a, he's gonna be a person that lives in the woods. Maybe he can be friends with the fox and it can be his little his little forest buddy or something. Right, have we got money? We've only got 30 coins. We're going to produce 54 per month. We are going to need to get, how many do we need? 75, that's what we need. So we need 75 coins. Right, so what we'll do is move time on nice and fast. It doesn't appear that people pay the coins at the end of the month. They're just coming in every so often. Okay, that's fine. Because then, yes, we need a sawmill. Now, would it make sense? Ah, right, hang on a second. Hang on. We're forgetting to assign people to jobs. So we'll have a forester and we will have a fishing person. Okay, right, so there we go. Someone should come out here and do a spot of fishing. What does this look like? Oh, that looks really nice. They've got a little boat. They've got a lovely boat down here. And they've got like nets and lobster pots and all that kind of stuff. Barrels. There's some fish over there in barrels and such. Okay. Yeah, that looks nice. Can we gather... I'm just looking at our food. It doesn't look very good, does it? Can we gather resources of any kind? Gather all resources. I just noticed there's some berries just there. Can we gather those berries? <laughs> just a little bit concerned that maybe we might run out of food ever so slightly. Hang on. Gather those resources. Oh, that's just trees. I mean, that's fine. That's going to be useful. Oh, and the weather is somewhat terrible. What is it? July. I thought it was supposed to be Mediterranean. This is <laughs> this is very British weather right now. Okay, fine. A little bit of July rain. Um, yeah, I thought I thought maybe that would get berries or whatever, but clearly not. I mean, there's something there. Is that coal? That might well be coal just there as well. But however, ah, right, hang on a second, hang on, pause the game. What's that saying? No firewood is in stock. Your people are not able to heat their homes. Check your sawmills or build an additional one. Right, we are totally out of firewood. However, fortunately, it's summer and it's a little bit toasty. So 32 degrees C, nice and warm. So nobody's going to need firewood right now, but we will need it at some other point. So sawmill. So let's get a sawmill. Um, oh, it's very big. It's a huge big thing, but I think, I think it will go well over here. Well, there's a massive sign out the front that says sawmill <laughs> on it in huge letters. Let's put that just there. Let's put it down here so it's sort of out of the way and it's nearer to the homes. There we go. We'll put that in and then we do possibly need one of these as well, a depot. So it provides some storage for resources, enables carriers to do their job effectively. They serve as resource drop-off and pick-up points for the workers. So a couple of these would not be a bad idea. Maybe one over here and one over there would not be too bad an idea at all. So let's get one of those next door, shall we say. Um, again, that looks like it's the front. And now we can't build anything else. Right, move time on. At, yeah, wonderful, wonderful 10 speed. So there we go. Everyone's rushing about. People with logs. This is all very good. There's a signpost telling you where to go. It's kind of over here, but that's fine. I mean, yeah. Is this coal? Is that coal? I don't know what that is. Or is it... Hang on, is that food? That could be mussels or something, couldn't it? On the rocks. It could be... Is that what they are? It could be like clam type or limpets. Or I don't know. Think the things that cling to rocks, you know, the shell type things. Um, Hang on. Can we grab them? Um, Yeah, gather all resources. If we draw it over there... Yes. We're going to mine whatever that is. And the sawmill has been constructed, so let us tell somebody to go and work in there. So there we go. We can have ourselves a wood a woodcutter. I oh, know. Okay, yes, that's someone in the sawmill, isn't it? I was thinking over here. I was thinking, hang on, we've already got a woodcutter. But no, of course, this is a forester's hut. They are a forester, not a woodcutter. So their efficiency is 70%. I guess because there's not that many trees around. But if you're going to plant some more, that's going to be helpful. Um, and then what we could do is we could have another worker in there. 
that means that yeah, it cost us 30 coins, which we've got 53, and 10 stone, we've got 40. Okay, that will give us an extra worker. Improved axes is 50 coins and 5 tools, so it's very, very expensive, but it does mean that the forester will work at 50% greater production speed or planting. Planting, ah, I was going to say, are they planting? I hope they're planting. Yeah, planting speed goes up by 15%. I'd rather have that because this area is a little bit barren. It's a little bit bereft of trees. So, yes, have that, please. There we go. Wonderful stuff. And now in terms of research, let's get a quarry. Allows for the construction of quarries used for extracting stone. So, yeah, it costs a bit of lumber. That's fine. And 30 coins. We've got 33. So, okay. I mean, now we're a little bit skinned. It's fine. I'm sure the money will come rolling in at some point. Just looking at the jobs list, there are an awful lot of varied jobs going on. I mean, it starts off with, you know, traditional things that you would expect. Quarrymen and miners and farmers and toolsmiths. Then you get innkeepers. That's quite fun. Then you get tailors and bakers. You know, tailor, baker, candlestick maker, all that kind of stuff. Um, then you get down to your know, teachers, healers and clerics, jewelers, potters, candle maker. Oh, there are those candle makers. Maybe not making the candlesticks, but making the candles. Distillers, carpenters, mint workers, brick makers and guards. There's quite a lot of varied jobs there. However, we only have three more available workers. So, um, yeah, we need some more people. I don't quite know how we get more people. Oh, hello. Hello, your highness. The king has sent over a ship full of goods again. He's clearly pleased with us. Most excellent. Okay, what are we going to get from, uh, from his royal highness? 36 coal. That sounds like a good thing to have. I'm not entirely sure what we're doing with the coal right now, but we can get some. That's always lovely. Yeah, look, we've got these things here. I can't click on them to find out what they are. Um, so let's watch this. This person here is walking along with that on their back. So where are you going? You're going to walk along to the... Imagine to the little depot thing we built. Right, hang on a minute. Hang on. So what have we got? 50... Oh, 57 food. We produced 104. We used 114. Okay, right. We might need to take a look at our food situation. Right, going to there. What is that? So we've got 57 food. Are you going to drop that off into here? Still 57 food. Don't know what that stuff is then. What have you got? So hang on. 40 stone and 52 iron. So you're going to drop that off. And 40 stone, 50 stone. I don't know what that is. Oh, hang on. We just got some iron. Is that iron possibly? I don't know. I think it might have been iron possibly. I'm not entirely sure. I think we've got more iron now than we started with. I think. So maybe that is iron. I don't really know. It's fine. Whatever it is, we've collected some of the useful things and now it's there. So food is now a bit of an issue because, yeah, we're producing 104 and we're using 114. So we need some other way of getting some food. Now, what I'm thinking is over here, they're working at 101% efficiency. What about over here? 98% efficiency. Can we expand you, possibly, hunting lodge and get us an extra worker slot? And that means we have another person bringing in lots of lovely meat. That means more food. That's all good. Yeah, I think that's what we might do. Hang on. So what are the requirements that? 50 coins and 20 lumber. And that's 50 coins just for the gatherer's shelter to add an extra worker. Or large baskets. 25% extra production from the gatherer's shelter for 25 coins and a bit of, a bit of lumber. One bit of lumber, just to make a really massive basket. Um, do you know what? Let's get that. Let's get large baskets, one, to make them a little bit more effective. Okay, yeah, that's good. I like that. And um, have we got everybody in the right amount of jobs? Yes, we have. Okay. Hang on a minute. All the It's gone to October and all the leaves have just entirely vanished. <laughs> um, okay. Right. I was kind of expecting maybe there'd be to be a little bit of transition, but okay, no, it's fine. All the leaves have gone. I mean, this is sort of useful. We can see that over there, there is some sort of animal den. So that's quite handy for the hunters there. That's quite useful. Um, do you know what? Let's spend a bit of our money and expand that as well. Because over winter, there will still be animals. We can still hunt those animals. And if we go to the jobs thing, we'll have an extra hunter. Hang on. Can we have... A, I want an extra... Hang on. What? I want an extra hunt. Oh, hang on. Increase the number of citizens working in the profession hunt. I think maybe we need to un... Do we need to unpause time? Because we should have an extra worker slot now. Hang on. Increase the number of people. There we go. Right, so it's costing us... Oh, it's costing us iron and lumber to maintain the hunting lodge. I guess because they're 
I don't know, doing stuff with iron and lumber. They're making arrows and axes and things, whatever. Okay, that's fine. What is that? Is that a bear? Oh, crikey. Okay, there's a bear over there. The bear might want to kill us a bit in the face, but I'm sure we'll muddle through with that. Okay, so how are you doing on planting the trees? Are you planting the trees? I really hope you are planting the trees. I'd like you to be putting some trees down. I mean, that looks like a little tree. Maybe they planted that tree, hopefully. And we have gone through quite a lot of our coal, but we do have a good amount of firewood, which is useful because now the temperature is not quite so uh, it's not quite so toasty anymore. It's a little bit cold now. So there we go. Wonderful. What are these things on the on the beach? Ooh, a sunken ship. A ship has sunk off the coast of our fair city. I think calling it a city is slightly uh, slightly above our station right now. Our fair gaggle of houses and people trying not to starve to death might be better. We should send a search party and see what they can find. Organise a search and rescue party. Focus on helping any survivors. Three adults, three children. It requires, I guess. So we're going to send three adults and three children. Hang on, what? What does that mean? And then immigration of 15. Or send a party to search for any goods floating around. The town needs anything we can retrieve. So pottery 21. Immigration minus 30. I'm thinking that the immigration thing here is a value. It's like a stat that's applied to our little settlement. So if we choose this, it doesn't mean that we're going to get 15 people coming in. We're not going to get 15 immigrants. And if we do this, we're not going to somehow lose 30 immigrants. It's like, you know, a stat that's applied. So if we choose this, we save some people. We save three adults and three children from drowning, from drowning in their sunken ship. So that's a good thing. We get some people and then our little settlement becomes known for, you know, accepting new people. And then we have an immigration score of plus 15. Whereas this here, we kind of know there's people on board, but we go, don't care about the people. Let's go and get ourselves some, you know, pots because, you know, that's the priority here. And then our immigration value, stat score, whatever, goes down by 30 because people know that we let a lot of people drown so we could, you know, get some nice new bowls or whatever. I don't think we do that. I think we choose this. Let's get three adults and three children coming in. I know that's more mouths to feed, but if we don't do that, we're going to let them drown. And that, that's not acceptable. So no, you have to come in. There we go. So we have some new people. We have ourselves a housing shortage, but that can be very easily resolved indeed. So let us just get a very quick house put in over here. Where, hang on, where's the door? <laughs> where's the door? Where, where is the door? There. Right, okay. So go in just there, because that fits right in the middle. There we go. Do you know what? Can we build another one as well? Just for the sake of it. There we go. Right, I don't think we have any money left to do anything else now. We could build some tents. Um, town buildings. Oh, wells and things. Wells, healers, houses. Oh, there's loads of exciting things over there. Right, let's get these two buildings in here. And then let's hope that we're actually getting enough food to actually, you know, last through the winter. Because I imagine this is going to be quite tricky. Oh, it's got all cold and snowy. Um, yeah, let's hope that we have enough food to survive the winter and get through to spring when the temperatures, you know, creep up a little bit. Because it's a little bit brisk out there right now. Oh dear, there is no firewood in stock. That's probably quite bad when the temperature is freezing. Yeah, there we go. Lots of cold people. Right, hang on a second. Hang on. Can we do something over here? Can we make this a bit better? So um, that brings the upkeep down. That costs, oh, that's 200 coins. It would make this place 20% better at producing firewood, but it is going to cost a lot of money. Or we could, we could spend 75 coins and 10 stone on getting ourselves an extra worker. And that means we can produce a lot more stuff because there's more people working here. Joe, you know what? Let's do that. And yes, please, we'll have another person working here. So, I don't know, maybe one of the people that we just rescued from the shipwreck, they can come here and then they can help out with the firewood or whatever. Because, yeah, right now, it's not looking good. We've got none in stock, which means that people are going to be a little bit cold because, uh, yeah, it's apparently minus five. It says autumn. It's December. I would probably say it's winter game. I mean, you know, it's quite snowy and wintry looking. But, uh, but yeah, look, they need to be warm over here as well. OK, that's interesting. So an offer of help has come in from some pagans who are nearby. Now, I don't know if they're on the map or not. I haven't actually had a look around the map to see what's going on. I've just kind of looked at our more immediate area. But maybe they are on the map. Maybe there's a little sort of pagan settlement or something. I will go and have a look in a moment. So it says, My liege, the locals have noticed our food shortage and are thankfully offering help. They've offered to bring us food and they aren't asking for anything in return. The clergy have reacted, however. They don't like the idea of pagan animals helping us. What should we do? We could really use the food. Okay, so pagan or not, we will not refuse a helping hand. Give them all the hospitality we can offer. So we get 93 potatoes. 
59 bits of venison, 77 mushrooms, but our religion stat goes down by 30. So we lose quite a lot of religion going on. However, we could say, can't afford to have the clergy on our back, not at this time, send the locals away. We get eight points of religion, but of course we don't get the lovely food. Do you know what? Food. It's more important that people you know, stay alive. So yes, please, we'll absolutely do that kind of thing. Wonderful. How is the sawmill doing? I think the sawmill is frantically, frantically trying to produce enough firewood, but no sooner has it you know, been produced than it just goes straight out again. And how is the food looking? Can we see what food we have? Hang on. I think there's a thing. Is there a thing up here? Stock. There we go. So what food do we have? We've got... We've got some leather. Hang on. There must be food somewhere. We've got 81 potatoes and three roots, 75 mushrooms, seven strawberries, six strawberries. Someone's snacking on strawberries. Uh, venison and some fish. We've got some fish. So we did have our own kind of... We did have our own supplies, but we've been helped out a great deal by the nearby pagans. Okay. I mean, are they on the map? Because I didn't really look around the map. The map is... It's very big. We can't zoom out anymore. It's very pretty as well. It does look nice. Oh, what's that? Hang on. Are there? There's dolphins. Hello, dolphins. Not enough workers. The number of free workers not assigned a specific job is low. Transporting resources, constructing buildings and gathering resources is problematic. Free up some citizens to have more workers. Oh. Of, oh. I think maybe a load of people have died. <laughs> I think possibly a lot of our people have just died of cold. Yeah, because now we only have 10 adults. Yeah, we've got one spare worker. I suspect maybe people have died. Have we got... Hang on. Hang on a second. <laughs> Does anybody actually work here? Or are the people that are supposed to work in the sawmill a little bit dead? Right. Hang on a minute. Um, we don't need... We don't need the fishermen right now. We don't need the hunters. We don't need the forester. So can... There's still only one worker available. Don't be a cow... Hang on. Right. The carrier is fine. Woodcutter. We need both of those. Gatherers, bring that down. Oh, no. <laughs> right, hang on. There. Right. There. Have... Oh, no, not gatherers. Hang on. Woodcutters. Can you please go and work in here and actually make firewood? Because I think... Yeah, I think we lost quite a lot of people. I think we lost a lot of people there. I think winter has claimed a lot of... There we go. Another person's dead. It's a, It's like banished. It's like banished all over again. Everyone's died across winter. Oh, dear me. Um. Okay. Seven people... <laughs> This is going to be a very short-lived game. Right, hang on. Hang on. Move time on not five people. I suspect maybe... Yeah, this is this is going to end very badly. Three people. Uh, not enough workers. There's not enough anything game. There's not enough of anything. Oh, and the snow comes down again. I mean, shall we just see what happens? What's going to happen when it gets down to zero? Is it just going to go, Oh dear, that went horribly, horribly wrong. <laughs> Whoops. Try again. Um, I mean, three three adults is not brilliant, is it? And I imagine, are they working in here? Oh, another adult has appeared. Somehow. I don't quite know how that happened. But yeah, an adult just sort of popped into existence. Just wandered in from a wood or something. Um, okay. We could do with the temperature going up a little bit. I mean, it's March. So that's good. So, you know, the temperature might go up a tiny bit now. But yeah, our population has been somewhat devastated. <laughs> we could do... Would anybody else like to crash their boat? Would anybody else like to crash a boat over here somewhere? And then you could come and join us because, yeah, I'm all for that. Okay, the king has sent his regards to about the four people that are left. Okay, so apparently the king is happy with us. I don't quite know why. But there you go, 35 tools for our four residents. And we have got quite a bit of money. And we've got an okay amount of food. However, our inventory space is low, I guess, because of food coming in. Right, hang on a second. Hang on. Who is doing what right now? There is one worker available. So we've got everybody now doing wood cutting. So people should be making firewood. We don't seem to have any firewood. Did we not do this right? What happened down here? Why were we not making... Oh, hang on. Click to resume production, it said there. Why was it... Why was the sawmill paused? <laughs> Who paused the sawmill? Come on, own up. Somebody paused the sawmill. Because uh, that's why it wasn't generating any firewood. Because it was paused. Okay, okay. I mean, that, that would certainly explain it. That would explain why that was happening. That's why everyone froze to death, because the sawmill was actually paused. Um, right, okay. I mean, now we do have people working in the sawmill, and they are going to make lots of, lots of firewood. We can come back from this. I think we can muddle through. We've got four people right now. That might go up. 
that might go up. We might see more people coming in. There might be another sinking boat or whatever. We'll try and muddle through, shall we? Inventory space is low. Right, hang on a second. <laughs> hang on. Ah, oh, dearie me. Why was that pause? I must have, I must have just clicked it by accident, I think. Right, let's put a, um, a depot thingamajig wherever the front. I don't think it has a front. And the depots have a front. Uh, we'll pop that there. So, I mean, if we've got anybody to build that, is there somebody that can go and build the depot, please? Might be just one person. Oh, when it's raining. Oh, and they're a bit... Hang on. They're cold. Is someone living in there? Oh, there's somebody in there. Okay. Oh, well, apparently in here there is... <laughs> they've got... They've got minus... They've got minus two billion bits of firewood. I mean, that is certainly going to be a problem, isn't it? And I suspect we might have just killed the game. Okay, so apparently that one home that we saw there with the minus two billion or whatever it was, bits of firewood, that was too much for Patron. It was too much. It kind of had a wobble and it fell over. So we're back again, as you can see, because, you know, it's all new and reset to how it was. But this is an entirely different place. This is the wonderful new-ish settlement of Upper Upper Cupper, because, you know, it's Upper Cupper, but it's even better than Upper Cupper. Upper Cupper, we'll just imagine is doing its own thing somewhere and everything is fine. But this is Upper Upper Cupper, and we've chosen a slightly different banner thing. It's kind of got three petals on it. Again, it's sort of linked to tea. We'll pretend they're tea leaves or whatever, but there we go. So I think now, let's try again, but let's make sure that over winter, we do not switch off the sawmill. Let's make sure the sawmill actually remains on over winter because that's quite useful because then everybody might not freeze to death. So um, yeah, we'll just try and sort of recreate more or less what we had. However, we might chop down slightly less trees over here so our forester can actually have some stuff to do. And then yeah, we'll try and chop down trees over this way possibly. So take down trees over here and we might get rid of all these. I do like these trees. I think these trees are very nice. They're kind of palm trees, but we might get rid of all those and some trees over this side. And yeah, keep this side slightly more sort of woody so we can have the, yeah, the gatherers in there and the hunters and all that kind of stuff. So, right, let's just kind of recreate sort of what we had with some very minor changes. Okay, so things are going quite well. We've got most of the buildings in that we had before, and the king has obviously heard about the disaster that happened over in Upper Cupper because the king has sent us 20 firewood. So the king is essentially saying, right, Upper Cupper didn't really work out, did it? So Upper Upper Cupper, please do better. Please don't freeze to death over the winter. But yeah, we know what went wrong there, your highness. It was a little bit of a sort of administrative oversight. It's fine. But there you go. Thank you very much. So if we take that off, we've got most things in. We've got the fish place. Oh, hang on. We've got the actual fisherman place. We haven't actually got anyone working there. And we've got the sawmill thing, and that's actually making some firewood. We've got some houses. We've got the thing set up over here. We've got the person over here as well. They're a little bit further up to increase their efficiency. So they're not quite, yeah, their sort of circle is not going out over these rocks or whatever. So they are doing more stuff. They're making 192 wood per year, which is good. So there we go. Things are looking a little bit better now. So what we need to do is, I think, just try and gather that firewood to make sure that we don't, you know, die over winter like what happened over in Upper Cupper. I think it's time that we unlock the secrets of a decorative hedge. We didn't get this far last time. So yes, please, 40 coins. We have 199 coins and five bits of lumber. We've got an okay amount of lumber. So yes, please decorative hedge research underway because that leads to a small park which sounds very nice indeed however our food is still looking i mean we are producing more than we're actually eating which is quite useful however let's go over here let's give you the large baskets so i can make them even more efficient and there we go a sunken ship oh oh hang on they've got way better things than last time the sunken ship over in upper upper cupper has got better things They've got wax and flour and clay. However, if we actually rescue the people, which we have to do, I can't let those people just drown because we wanted to get some wax so we can make some candles or whatever. Um, that does give us four children and three adults, but also 25 immigration points. Yeah, okay, we'll go for that. I imagine, yes, there's going to be a little bit of a problem with people living in houses. So let's get a few houses in whilst we're here. And we've got the money to do it. That's all fine. Let's build them maybe over let's get a few down here actually let's get a few down here we don't want to go too far that way because it's going to go into the woods where we want to keep the woods sort of free so our people can go and gather and hunt and all that kind of stuff so let's put a few along here nice i mean they're coastal properties 
That's lovely. They're going to be really nice down here. We don't have a herbalist hut. Let's get a herbalist hut in, shall we? That sounds like a fun thing to have. So we'll put you up here because it says more quality herbs can be found in well forested areas. Oh my goodness me. The herbalist hut is absolutely massive. Right. Okay. That thing is, that thing is ginormous. Um, okay. I mean, we'll put it there because that's over here in our sort of little sort of forest community type thing. But yeah, that'll gather some herbs. I mean, okay, herbs are good because you can make sort of healing medicine out of them or whatever. And, you know, they're just a nice thing. But more importantly, if we get 10 herbs and then save up 100 money, we can do this research. We can get a small park and then we can have a park, which just sounds nice. I like the idea of having a nice park around the place. So let's try and get that done. I mean, okay, it is still quite cold and snowy and such it is currently winter it's minus one degree c so it's quite chilly out there and um, however yes let's get a herbalist wonderful okay so somebody well hang on nope let's unpause that that must have been what i did that must have been what happened to the sawmill down there Okay, never mind. I mean, yeah, that was fine. That was Upper Cupper. Upper Cupper is now, you know, in the dim and distant past. It's all about Upper Upper Cupper now. Okay, it's happened. We've ran out of food. I mean, it was always going to happen, wasn't it? It was inevitable. I wonder if Upper Upper Cupper will survive. I mean, at least we've got firewood. At least people can, you know, keep warm a little bit and then try and go and find some food. They can go out and try and grab a few bits. I mean, yeah, we do have a couple of bits left. There's, you know, a couple of bits of meat lying around, or there's a strawberry someone found on the back of a, you know, back of a shelf or something. It's all fine. The king has sent his regards. He sent us some iron. I mean, that's lovely. That's lovely, your highness. You sent us some iron. That is, that's wonderful. We like iron. It's nice. It's shiny. We can make metal things. Could you send us, I don't know, some roast chicken, perhaps? Maybe some nice roast potatoes. A lovely vegetable selection, perhaps? That, that would be quite nice as well. You know, I mean, ice cream, cakes, maybe some tea, possibly. I don't know. I mean, the iron is lovely. Thank you. But uh, yeah, we could have done with possibly a little bit of food there, sir, your highness. Oh, and now we have no firewood either. So uh, yeah, people are starving and freezing. Wonderful. Excellent stuff. Good job, upper, upper cupper. I think we use some of our money to upgrade the things we already have. So fisherman's hut. Let's get another worker in there and get some lovely sturdy nets and then increase the amount of people that can work over there. That's good. And then over here, gatherers. We've got two of those already, so that's quite good. There's two in the hunting lodge. Right, okay, so we might get some more fish, which is very, very useful indeed. The only thing is, it needs to arrive sort of now. It kind of needs to arrive right now. I mean, there are little sort of little shoals of fish over there. There's a bit there and a bit there. So that's quite good. There's currently no firewood. Why? We've got two people working in there. Two people. Um, okay, it's fine. However, however, firewood might not be so much of a problem because, joy of joys, it's now got through to uh, spring. The temperature is not quite so cold, which means that we don't need quite so much firewood to keep warm. However, food, yes, we do need that because, you know, if we don't have that, we'll all be a little bit dead. So, um, yeah, if we could go and get some food, that would be nice. Oh, there we go. You click on the townhouse, so the building we started with, and then you get shown your stats. So we've got happiness, health, safety, immigration, loyalty, religion, education, basic goods, luxury goods, taxes, and housing. Okay, so yes, our immigration sort of stat would have gone up a bit when we accepted those new people. Okay, that's absolutely fine. And it looks like you can put decrees in as well, but you have to research all these. See, so yeah, I did see those on the research thing actually down at the, um, down at the bottom, like cleared path. That increases a herbalist hut efficiency if it's near a forester's hut. We've got tracking prey. That means that the hunting lodge is more efficient if it's near a forester's hut. And they are things, I don't know if they're stats, like not stats, they're things you can unlock in the buildings. Or if they're policy things, I don't know. Actually, that's a policy thing, isn't it? Enacting the policy increases the production in quarries, coal mines, iron mines, forest huts, toolsmiths and brickworks. Okay, yeah, so that thing needs to be unlocked. Um, however, can we... Oh, we can't unlock a small park yet. Boo, I wanted a small park. Okay, let's just unlock mine, because we might as well. And then hopefully, now it's, you know, now it's not as cold, the herbalist can go out and grab many herbs, and then we can have ourselves a park at some point, because that would be nice. So down here, I just took a look at farming, and it says to get farms, you need to upgrade the town centre to a gathering hall. So then I looked in the research thing, and gathering hall is just there. It does need quite a few things. It needs quite a lot of money. It needs some lumber and it needs a bit of stone. But that's fine. I think we'll try and head toward that because I'd like to see a farm. I would like to see a farm. What's the little things? Increase peasant general happiness in the clothes shop radius. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, we need to get a clothes shop as well. 
So we get Toolsmith, then a clothes shop, then a gathering hall. I mean, let's get Toolsmith done because we can do that. Then a clothes shop, I think we'll be fine for that. And then, yeah, we need to save up to get a gathering hall because I just would like to get that done. I'd like to just at least get a tiny little bit of advancement going on because it kind of feels like, yeah, we're sort of, we're here and it's okay. I mean, I say it's okay, it's raining and miserable, but yeah, it's okay. We've got an okay amount of food, if not a wonderful amount of food. And we've got ourselves, you know, houses and we've got some firewood and such like. So, you know, things are looking all right, but I would just like to move things on a tiny, tiny bit. I mean, is that the research done? Have we got, oh, but we could get a park. We could get, um, we're getting a park. Away with you, Gathering Hall. We can get ourselves a park and that's a lot more fun. We can make ourselves a small park. All we need are 20 coins. Absolutely, we've got that. Oh, and it looks really nice. It does look very lovely. I mean, where can we put this? It increases happiness in the general vicinity. I mean, I kind of feel like it should go over here. It should go over here because that's near more houses. So yeah, okay. We'll put a small park next to the little road sign we've got there. So yeah, put a small park in just there. Come on. Let's get this thing constructed. This looks very exciting. This is going to be lovely. And then we could have a hedge. Hedge is 100 coins? Really? What exactly is the hedge made of? We've got a hedge made of gold. A, a little park, a wonderful park. Costs 20 coins, yet one single bit of hedge needs 100 coins. I mean, look at that. 20 coins that cost. That is an absolute bargain. That is a steal right there. Right, okay. In terms of research, uh, clothes shop. Yeah, let's get that done. And then we'll just sit and wait. We'll just wait an awfully long time until we can unlock a gathering hall. 500 coins that's going to cost. I suspect, I suspect we're going to get toward the, uh, to winter and go through winter. There we go. I was going to say the leaves are going to fall off the trees at any moment. Now, there we go. So they've gone. Storage problems. Our former reporting that there was a rat infestation in one of our warehouses. We've lost some goods. It's their job to ensure such things don't happen. If they fail, they can settle the difference. Right, so make some of our people miserable. Or, such things happen, tell them to make sure it doesn't happen again. 11 iron. So I guess we repair the holes in the, whatever, in the warehouses or whatever. So happiness goes up and we lose some iron. Yeah, okay, happy with that. Another sunken ship. Again, we can't leave four adults and three children to just die in a sunken ship. We have to actually go and rescue them. I can't do it. So, okay, it might cause us a bit of a problem in terms of housing, but we should be okay. There can't be that, can't be that many of them, can there? There were seven of them. We should have some spare capacity for housing. So let's put another house over there and hope that's enough. Yeah, we've got, what's that? Oh, there's actually quite a few people. Okay, there are quite a few people. Can we upgrade a house? We can insulate the houses, but we're keeping the money. We're keeping the money so we can have lovely, nice upgraded town hall things going on. Um, okay. Right, what we'll do is we'll build some houses along the back here as well. It's going to cost us a bit of money, but that's fine. Right, get some houses in. Wonderful stuff. Hopefully nobody's going to be homeless. Also, just to point out, it is winter. It's winter. It's 0 degrees. It's minus 3 degrees C. It's very cold. However, loads of firewood and lots of food. It's looking okay. We've not got any symbols anywhere of people freezing to death or people starving to death or whatever, which is wonderful. Well done, upper, upper, cupper. Okay, April has just arrived and we have enough resources to get the gathering hall research underway. So it's 500 coins, 30 wood. I think we've got loads of that now, 127 wood. And then we need 30 stone. That's fine. We have enough because otherwise it would be up in red. So, okay, get that done and let's see what happens. So we're going to change this. So our little kind of town centre thing is going to change. Gain favour with the Holy Church. Okay, this sounds fascinating. Church dignitaries are offering us a way to gain some favour with them. But that's really just a way for them to tell us what they want done. Okay, so we can send them 91 fish and 85 leather. And we get 10 religion points. Or we just tell them to go away. I mean, the food is quite important right now. Um, we're okay at the minute. It's fine. I don't know exactly how many fish we have. But I don't want to give away 91 of our food because that actually is quite a chunk of all of our food resources. So that would be bad. So at any moment now, when that's done, how long is that going to take? Not that long, actually. Not too long at all. Um, this thing here is going to, I think, automatically upgrade. It's going to become a gathering hall, which is going to be very exciting indeed. So, okay, they just changed the roof. They've changed the roof. That's what they've done. We have a different roof now. However... What that does mean we can do is we can have a look at farm. So there we go. We can get ourselves a ranch. Okay, that's wonderful. We can have cows. We can have an orchard. Or we can have some crops. I mean, 
we have a bit of space over here. Why don't we make ourselves a crop field? Oh, hang on. Hang on. Probably important to look at the fertility overlay, isn't it? Okay, is that fertility? Yes, soil fertility. Okay, how about over here? <laughs> we have ourselves a crop field. It can be that big. In fact, you know what? Start it there, because that's as big as it can go. So yeah, there you go. Like that, a crop field. Okay, this is good. And then can we have a ranch as well? Just because I think that might be quite nice. Can we have a ranch over here? Because that doesn't really matter. That matters not at all because they don't really care, do they? So yeah, pen size. There we go. Well, oh, that needs loads of coins. Okay, right, hang on. Maybe not that then. <laughs> Maybe just get the crop field in. Maybe we just grow some nice things over here. I think it might be worth upgrading our foresters, huh? Because the wood is coming in very, very slowly indeed. We use an awful lot of it on maintenance and on turning it into nice firewood. So let's get planting one done. So that means that we can now plant things a bit quicker. And then we'll do that to get us an extra worker. There we go. So we've now got two people working over in the forester's hut. That is wonderful. Right, over here, what do we want to do? Crop, next season, wheat. 288 coins per year on maintenance. Oh my goodness me. Um, and we'll get a farmer out there. But I don't know if that's actually going to make any difference right now. Anyone coming over here to do anything with it right now? It seems maybe they are going to. Maybe they'll just come and, you know, tend to the soil or put up a fence or whatever. I do not know. But okay, that's fine. They can come over here and they can just, you know, work on this whenever they want to. At any point. Anyone coming in? Is it you? Is it you? Yes, it is. You're coming here. You're doing some... <laughs> I don't know what you're doing. You're doing some very important stuff. Oh, you're kind of ploughing. You're ploughing the field. The church needs some money. Okay. Only 67 money. Yeah, do you know what? That's fine. We can afford that. We'll give the church a little bit of money because we've turned the church down once already. So we don't want to annoy them again, lest they bring down the wrath of God upon us or whatever. So no, have a tiny bit of money, church people. I think to wrap things up, we shall build ourselves a small statue. Why not? So we've just got the uh, tech done for that. So now what do we need to actually build ourselves a small statue? It's only 20 coins. Oh yeah, absolutely. Can we have a small statue, please? This sounds very exciting indeed. Let's put it right there. That's a good place for a small statue. It can go right there. Somebody comes over, hit it, hit with a hammer, and we have ourselves a little statue. Wonderful stuff. Oh, I think some mushrooms just appeared. That's nice. I mean, there are quite a lot of things over here that could potentially be harvested. All sorts of mushrooms are appearing. I guess because the weather is slightly less clement. So, you know, the mushrooms appear when it's sort of, you know, a bit soggy and such like underfoot. They go, look, somebody is picking them up. Somebody is actually gathering those. I mean, Upper Upper Cupper is doing significantly better than Upper Cupper. Upper Cupper did have a slight problem with the sawmill, which did not help matters. But uh, but of course, yeah, it's doing a lot better. We have a field over here and that's looking a lot more wheaty now. It's looking less green and more wheat coloured. So that's very exciting as well. We have a field, we're going to have some wheat. And then, yeah, there's plenty of research to do. There's plenty of research. But yeah, I've enjoyed this. I have enjoyed Patron. It's been very, very nice. I mean, yeah, it does have a sort of a banished feel about it. It certainly has that feel about it. You, know, you try and get through the winters. That's kind of what you base your year upon, isn't it? You try and get through the winter. You make sure you've got firewood and you've got food. You try and live through the winters. But, uh, but yeah, the little sort of story things pop up and you make choices and that affects things. And then, um, and then yeah, if we look on here, we've got these numbers here. So yeah, if you did have a great big village, town, settlement, whatever, it would probably be quite hard to manage all these, I imagine. You know, I'd guess that some of them would come down, some would go up. And, you know, if you did not focus on education, if you didn't do the research for it then people would get very grumpy about that and i imagine if these do fall quite low then you get story things popping up i don't know saying people feel uneducated nobody knows what to do can you please sort that out so yeah i imagine that's kind of how these things here work so this is kind of the key this is the key to patron i would say these bits here and the kind of story bits that pop up that make you make choices which i did like i did like that although i could not leave a load of people to drown in a shipwreck so we did have lots of lovely goods on offer that we turned down in order to save people's lives, which I think, you know, is morally the right thing to do. So go us, go upper, upper, cupper. And of course, upper, cupper before it, they saved some people as well. But there we go. We shall finish things up for now with patron. But yeah, I think, I think when this comes into what, either early access or a full release or whatever, I think we will come back to this. I can see us having quite a bit of fun with this because we've not really unlocked much stuff. 
We've not unlocked much stuff at all. I mean, yeah, we've got the clothes shop and toolsmiths and things, and we have got some mines available now and a quarry and such. But yeah, we've got a lot more stuff to unlock. There's candle shops and jewellery stores and gold mines and windmills and all the rest of the farming stuff. So yeah, there's plenty that we could unlock. So I think when this is actually you know, more complete and not a demo and all that kind of stuff, we'll come back to it and we shall have some fun with Patreon. But because it's a demo, we will wrap things up for now. Hopefully you have enjoyed this. If you have, please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with all the other bits and bobs that we get up to in the Geek Cupboard. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard and I will see you next time. Oh no, not the piggy wigs. Want them to be healthy. Happy pigs, please. Raspberries, raspberries, raspberries everywhere. I went through and sold a load of turkeys as well, and they still come back. They're still coming back to haunt me. The storm moisture's going down. We need rain. We need rain. What's going... <laughs>